Welcome back. We're gonna have Team Falcons versus Virtus Pro, and the winner of this series will be going up against Team Tickle to um, change things up if they ever end up behind for some reason. I'm going to go with Falcons. Grenade is there. Okay, both him and FNG is gonna, are gonna be taking a lot of damage. He actually stands his ground and fights. Another blood grenade connects. Luna is a fast hero. Are you fast enough? It sticks. Nope, it's gonna be enough. That's going to do wonders for Falcon's And a for Luna. There's gonna be a spear as well. Three stacks already. There's gonna be a fourth one. Crit. If he gets the fifth one, it's gonna be a problem with that slow. It's gonna be more than possible. And Amar gets the kill even more perfect there for them. Crit might be a casualty of war. But he does have one charge. So he's actually baiting in FNG. Come over. Yes, we wanted a bonus kill. The Centaur Stomp will help as well. FNG has a lot of sticks as well. So he'll be able to survive for a little bit longer with the Blood Grenade. That's a lot of slow. And Crit will be finishing him off. Amar coming over maybe to cut at his kill. But Crit will be the one to claim it. She is not safer for life even with the support. And those, yeah, it, bye bye. No brambles for you. No brambles and there is a uh, centaur to stun him if he attempts to TP. So just beautifully done from staking. <laughs> this is taking a little bit too long. That's a tide. He's gonna be anchor smashing. He's going to crack an off his Squadix? Okay, he's dead as well. Right now, Falcons are destroying British Pro. We talked about tempo that you needed to get in the start. I, I think snaking is going to be a little bit annoying during this entire game. He's already insufferable. Onto the uh, Luna. Needs help. Needs help now. Help is coming, but it's a little bit too late. Sure, you're, you're here now, maybe looking over the fuck, but with Mars being in the vicinity, it's just gonna be a bonus. FNG dies as well, he wasn't able to protect his carry. Like especially off by Nyx Assassin. Off by Nyx Assassin, what in the blazes? The amount of things that that man was able to get away with on Inger, that's frankly not very good at that They are trying to make something happen, so he's having Aegis. It is gonna be a rabbit for Stout, but is it really worth it? Skitter, he pops his ulti, notice he's not gonna be leaving the arena. And well, this tree and maybe dying as well. Skitter still okay with losing his Aegis if it means getting more kills. Enchantress did drop down. Skitter will lose his first life. They have a stun with Squadix. See if they can use it properly. The Terrorize is being threatened, but he gets the blink out. Great, getting himself in, in trouble as he doesn't mind giving his life away for the Ursa. But uh, no, he's he's already got the, the crit open afterwards. He's going to the traditional right. Put it here onto a mar. The terrorize will connect. The disruption was there, so really, it's not going to do that much. Mar gets the DKB off. Looking towards FNG, he's the only one caught. They've already lost the Dark Willow, and it's going to be a two for one. A really quick death for all three of those supports. Falcons. Again, going for a smoke, looking towards Kiritich one more time. It is a BKB hero, and they start off with the disruption, so they're just gonna be forcing out a lot of DPs. The money purchase there, Skinner focusing on Kiritich, deals is there, TP out. He understands how to look. Now Skinner has put himself in an uncomfortable position, but the Ravage doesn't do anything. He pops the BKB, and now it's my turn. The Overgrowth will not allow him to move forward any longer. Nice call into the backline, Sage is dead, and notice he has to get to the high ground where he will most likely not live. The Yules keeping him alive for a little bit longer, not long enough. Amar. He destroys him there, and it's gonna be two kills. They, they get slowed down. It's like, uh, goodbye. Poor Jesus. He's close to his blink dagger, actually, but maybe it's gonna be delayed. And he's farther away from base than what he was hoping. And now he's gonna be taken down on the high ground. The arena gets used to just standing his ground with the Monic Purge and the BKB. Gonna try to leave Skitter. It is a question if he allows it. For now, he decides it is way too uh, dangerous to go for it. Uses the enraged. Stun plus the uh, Terrorize won't last at all on him. Falcons, they have reached their timing where they feel unstoppable. 10 seconds for the Ravage. Falcons, think the type of team to go back. With this type of lineup, probably not. If they had a Nidus Iron, maybe they would be thinking about it. And look at those impetus flying through Yules, of course. Now, as I know, it's not going to be used on himself. And he gets it and finishes off FNG. Who has a buyback stun on the Enchantress? We talked about the noise. This hero is hard to kill. Not hard enough. Sage finishes him off. Squatting swaps to BKB. Wants to fight. For now, Falcons will disperse. It is a 4 versus 5 scenario because of the buyback. Start from the Luna with Skinner going in. He's going to be used. Coil connects. Ravage connecting as well. He has the enraged BKB at the ready. Still, Skinner does not care. Pops it now. And he's going to be destroying, dismantling that Luna. And the rest of the BP 
be. They have to run. It is gonna be the Jin Protector taking down once again. It's Amar. He has the arena back. Marini has destroyed the backline. Beautiful use, Dodge. But it's not gonna change the fact that you're left all alone without any friends. You will be taken down. Skitter gets a double kill. Leaving your base right now. Very, very tough to do. There is a blink on the tie. Aegis is ready. They're gonna be going on to Dirce the Terra. That's connect. Amar has been caught on the other side. Dirce, even if he dies, the ones that he will not use the Rage is very mad. But would you have attempted to do it? Do it in the a little bit too late. The blades are bouncing. He gets the lean off. There's just so much damage. But not a lot of hits there. With the, uh, with the ulti. But the Aerosite is now back in. Skinner is going to be taken down. Kirti is doing a lot of damage. The Ogre still totem goes to the left. The Demonic Purge is still going to be slow. Given the stun on the puck. Mallory and Kirti about three. The damage, it will be more than enough, and it's a triple for him for sure. Use the time, maybe allows him to blink out. Beautifully done by Notice. You're never gonna find him. He's a genius hitter. He knew he won't be able to do it. Enchantress or not dealing with her at all, and now Marine goes forward. The disruption will be there. I'm gonna save you, Green says the squad. It's because this puck he is way too powerful. Dark Willow is the only one left alive, but the GGs have already been called. Falcons win game one. Is everybody ready for game two of this best of three series? If you're Omar and there's not much staking can do about it. But here FNG, he just does absolutely nothing. And uh, it seems like Sage doesn't do anything on the bottom lane either as he just watches his uh, carry die. And now he's going to be dying as well. Crit goes through them, gets a double kill. And we are already seeing into the future. Skiritage dies to Omar. And FNG will be dying as well. They're being destroyed. Sure, he gets a kill before he goes down. But it's a disaster. A laning disaster. Oh, this is not good. Squadix is losing armor rapidly from the side. The Seder Mind Stealer is coming and it will steal his mind along with the other creeps as well. He'll be the one finishing off Squadix, the one hero over at this pro. was having a good time. Seder has me as well. Me as well. Snaking will get him down as well as Kiritich comes over. He will be pulled back by the X Marines dropping down. FNG gonna be signed. That's only level 3 Phoenix. That's not. A Phoenix any longer as Malreen, he'll be the one controlling side. Heritage, let's come over. Who wants Snake King dead? Where's the barrier? There it is, and he will be able to drown Snake King in the, in the river. So, in a game versus a, uh, a Weaver and a Pole. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. They have still living armor. Oh, actually, they missed the. Uh, 
They missed the boat just to show that they don't need it, but running into a trap, this is a dangerous situation. The Doom, oh, he's not gonna use it. Time lapse just in time. Now dealing with the traps as well. It was only a bait to get bonus kills. Stage he has the ulti. Bait for who? They're gonna be bringing down the Weaver. Squad X thinking about staying in the spike, but it might be better to just get away. Marine has been marked. Garrett, he knows exactly where we are. The coil will be used, meaning that Marine might live. Not gonna be happening. And Falcons, they've overextended. He's also dead. They see his career. These careers. They're freaking hey, traitors. Everything away. Go. Yeah, Skitter is gonna get destroyed. Yeah, gets used to make sure no TPs go through oh, and damage. Oh, Violence, oh, some more He finds Quanix, makes his presence known. Kirtich has been caught by the torrent. The main coming over. The buck is coming over. Malin takes so much damage from just one hit. And they will follow him until he's dead. Kirtich gets the kill. Now, fighting the troll, the bashes are coming through. Squadix in the back line. Does bring down the enchanted skitter. He needs to run. There's the silence. The doom now silenced forever. You can't get your OT off. You can't get anything off. But Squadix can get the damage for Falcons. You don't have mana on the puck. What are you doing there? They need the uh, entangles breaking the core there from Kiritic just ensures that Over here, Radiance Top Tower. Hold on. Hold on. Actually, this lodge is 15, so now they have to smoke because they have to either get a pick off now or be back at top earlier than the top. But they found a way again. Let's see how many hits it's gonna take to. It's still not enough. Tickets has been broken and the Doom connects to the troll. It's a disaster. The fight is over. The Doran Storm is doing nothing through the BKBs and the Echoes used on the high ground. With this point, they're trying to get some kills and Malrini still gives some damage. Kiritich dropping low. He's still gonna be able to survive. The coil is only onto the Doom and crit. He can't do enough damage to, to finish him off. Now it is time to run. Kiritich is low, however. Crit, on the other hand, is dead. He is fishing for engagement. He's looking where people are. He needs information. To. Once you get the Mjolnir, that's when the Mjolnir is dodges the overgrowth. Yes, and Hex though, still doing the damage even through the Hex. Because uh, it's a pack with an Agonis. He's getting burned down, gets the silence to the side. But he needed the orb and the phase shift and just unable to get it off. Very nice approach from Bertus Pro either way. It is, but it's also much easier to from Falcons. There used to be a part there, Marine. He got his ulti off, he's doing some damage to, uh, to FNG, not nearly enough. Once you get level 25, then the troll, even if he gets on top of you, it's not gonna be that big of an issue. Vintage, he finds the gun coming, the axe being there, Kurosa is gently using the axe, nice close up to the side. He'll be fine for now, he moves the close up. Where's the Manta? He needs to get himself out of this room, but he's not doing anything. He's just dying. Wolfie was already popped with you. He will keep it in place until he is ready to die. Squadix will be the executioner, and now he wants to execute taking as well. With Hurricane Pike, he keeps himself away and actually does dodge the, uh, the enemy hits as Crit is destroying the back lines. Gets a double kill. It's a 3 for 3. Falcons, the way that they that started, it didn't look like it was gonna go this well. It's too go the damage route and this is a very fun tactic of course This is what you wanted. Look, the puck though finds the goal. Gonna be doing a solid amount of damage. Finishes off Kiritich. It's a 1 for 2 with Amara coming over. Squadix. The 
kind of saw from Mario Lotus on the other team. He's doing work and there's damage pulling them in. The Volt is coming through as well. But the Wind Waker will keep the Doom safe for now. He's gonna have the blink away. The Survive FNG coming in. Has the Hex and the Egg. A Snaking is gonna be coming forward. The Hex on the fucking the Egg is gonna be used. They have a solid amount of attack speed. But they don't have the HP to stand next to the DA. The side plays, they even connect on the Kunkka. And now you understand just with what kind of a beast. You're dealing with Squadix is having one hell of a game. Out of your base as well, you could lose their access to the first one. So it's insanely fast. No hacks there, or the Phoenix Hex on himself. Mark throws himself out. Curitish in the back lines. He has marked himself as well for the Lord of Sword. Doesn't truly really care. Just pops the BKB to remove it and continues to apply the damage. Amar is your main team fight hero. At least the Aegis fight is in Falcon's base. that you want <laughs> oh you need the yeah, dead hits to kill me with your impetuses <laughs> i need but one and skitter is running away he doesn't want to get one shot in the he is moving there and the overgrowth will make sure that your mantra doesn't help you whatsoever the boat is coming and amar now he's gonna be drinking the rum i want some uh, some of that as my teams they're not really doing too much the doom was on the puck and it's gonna be amar taking down as well now he has a buyback he's gonna have to use it and the damage needs to be done now but it is a four versus two scenario as the silence connects on crit he is gonna be able to get himself out the creeps are missing and that is the only good thing going for falcons currently Fights have been, and I think it's a lot of this has to do with that distracting disabled. Look at all these hexes is doing work. And for the Wind Waker will connect him in a little bit longer. The silence, and of course, the damage of Squadix, the one who has carried his team on his back wow. to the third game of the series. Virtus Pro are not going to be eliminated so easily. Game three, baby, let's go. This is the 25 year anniversary show here at Pinnacle. I'm here, Freak. Joining me is Kim. We're going to get rewarded for any risk. And I guess we haven't really talked about the mid lane yet, right? Nope. We are looking. Oh, well, not in the mid lane. It's Amar. It's gonna catch a ton of hate. And the entangle just after the uh, attacking stops. That is perfect. Crit also is gonna be caught. But the entangle connects on him as well. He's gonna die though. The bear. Very low attack speed currently. This is when we need to come from this top side. Let's see, Inks, well, he caught the fire spirit off. Doesn't matter. Notice he goes like, Rah, but still what gets the hit in. And Skitter, he's all alone. We saw one rotation of the mid laner. Now there's gonna be another one. Squadix is here with the coil ready. The question is, do you even need it? Skitter, you're not worth of Squadix's ulti. And Skitter will be taken down. Oh, they are coming from the bottom lane. And Malvin would be a perfect kill, being the highest net worth on the map. That was exactly what they wanted. Well, there's a purge. He got it off, he got off the Rolling Thunder, that was way too early for Notice, and now both of them are gonna be in trouble, actually going on to crit, they don't wanna get stuck there on the side, Notice is taking so much damage, he's gonna have the Nether Strike at the and there's the Coil, finishing off Snaking, Notice break uses it. the ulti, and there's the break on the Coil, but Notice has put himself in an uncomfortable position, so crit gets the kill, that's gonna be a 2 for 1, Phoenix dying, I don't think you care much if you're Falcons. Falcons, are they uh, coming through as well? Yeah, they will. Swashbuckle there. This time around, FNG will get caught. Snowball. He saves himself and thinks, well, this is very dangerous. The disruption will be there, so he probably will be getting his ulti off. Gets to the high ground. Rolling Thunder gets silenced up. The egg will be used onto the low ground. Nobody focusing on beautiful shards as the Soulbind was used as well. And now, Kiritich, in his true form, will die despite being super tanky. Notice he is the strongest cow in the world, but he has already pushed out Mallory once and the second time with the charge you can do it rolling thunder Malrin finally got it off and that's a beautiful swashbuckle just to execute his enemies squadix has no teammates and this time around his team is a little bit heavier than what the case was in game two well notice that the DC goes much larger the destruction is there ready as well gonna be taken down easily that is well not nearly enough to save his life FNG gets himself out <laughs> so the real deal is that these fights last so short that you don't even get to do any split pushing in the meantime especially not because all these other targets are still he's supposed to get his disruption save that's it he 
Ainsworth with an egg is not one that you can kill so easily. Well, he's not going to reduce the backline, though. The Ainsworth finishes off pretty beautifully done. Squad he wants the Phoenix as well with the Sans. He might be able to finish it off, but he tries to get it, and it's not going to be happening. You didn't lose two supports, however, and you have killed two supports. Well played. Now it is time for punishment to go your way. Sayush will get the TP out quick. Has died, but yeah, I actually thought it was crit FNG on the Tusk. Crit has played too many Tusks in, in this Maybe tournament. They have some split pushing opportunities with the, with the Puck, with the Radiance on the bed. It's all very easy. So no maintenance comes on. And they just get the Puck while he's on one of those missions, I eh? So during this game, how do Team Falcons prepare for their, uh, for their next series? Because this looks pretty over. Makes sense. One game at a time. Go in. Never mind how well you play. Yeah, I'm thinking if you don't fight the Roshi, you lose. Oh, if you fight the Roshi, you lose. run! Oh, no BKB on Amara, but he has a harpoon. He has found it in the depths of the sea, and I will be using it to hunt down the puck. <laughs> That's a lot of damage though. A lot of damage to the Luna, now it's only the first time the game was lost. And FNG dropping those walls, no life. The bear doesn't have a resummon. You have to make sure that this bear survives. He's actually sending it in. No. I think play bounces will kill him. And it's gonna be now the buck got a mark. This time around he needs no harpoon, he just needs one hit. It's more than enough to finish him off. Between the fact that he still has an of the fact that it's not just the Luna Stone, you have a ton of damage on the other hands to but they have to go in here. Jesus on the Luna, Mar will get taken down, Kiritich gets himself a kill, but Mega Creeps have been claimed. Falcons there, not a they came for, will be using the egg, you cannot run forward towards that one. None of your heroes do well with it, now they nice blink away, not gonna be caught the coil. Backlines, now he got the rolling thunder off just before it connected. It's not really gonna be that big versus him, he does finish off FNG. Just to trade the players. Never mind. Uh, considering that they're mega creeps, you have to have the Luna. Uh, that's a dead lone druid. We also have some more time left in this tournament for you. You can enjoy the last minutes of the tournament. Savage Lord, the pushing back, as well as there, but disruption will save it. Oh, one of the four of them, that's gonna be a lot of damage coming out from the Buck Buck Squad. is trying to finish him off, and actually, we'll charge through the three of them. Now it's gonna be Chris going down, he's still alive. They will slow down Odin to the end. He gets the kill here, and then she does pop back a couple more hits from Alreen. He wants to take him down, won't be able to do so with the Swan Buck, however, will be able to do so. Kick the ball, FNG is good at football, but to beat Falcons, you need to play Dota better than them and that was not the case today FNG will call GG and Amar will try to destroy Sage just by his whole scepter to keep himself alive.